In today's news, the facelifted Honda Ife drops in SA, Fiat unveils a Landtrek twin, more detailed surface of the new Suzuki Swift. Finally, Ford Ranger shows off a new tremor model. Put on your seatbelts and welcome to Dead Drive News. Kicking things off with Honda, the facelifted Honda Fit E HEV has made its debut in South Africa, offering a sportier look and an updated, more powerful engine. It's priced at 544,100 Rand and it boasts a 10 kW increase in overall power input, now at 90 kW and 253 Nm from the 1.5 litre electrically assisted, naturally aspirated petrol four cylinder motor. The hybrid system maintains a low CO2 emissions at about 80 grams per kilometer and exceptional fuel efficiency at 3.7 liters per 100 kilometers. Notably, the EHEV includes a wireless smartphone charger and an enhanced tech features package, such as heated seats, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and the radar guided cruise control. The whole package comes with a 5 year, 200,000 kilometer warranty and an 8 year, 200,000 km extended warranty for the lithium ion battery and hybrid system components. Moving over to Fiat, they have unveiled the new Titano 1 ton Paki. It's essentially a rebranched Persian land track based on the Shangan Kaisin F70 from China. With minimal exterior changes, including a tweaked grill and new yellow wheel design, the Titano mirrors the land track's appearance. While confirmed for Algeria, the possibility of its arrival in South Africa remains uncertain. Stellantis South Africa plans to assemble the land track in 2026, leaving room to add the Titanio to the production line. The Titanio features a 2.2-litre turbo diesel engine in Latin America and a 1.9-litre turbo diesel engine in Algeria, with both single and double cab configurations. Its success will be compared to Fiat's previous fullback model. The land track launched in South Africa in 2021 and has seen modest sales of 28 units monthly over the past 11 months. Let's wait and see if you're going to get this model. And what do you guys think? Do we need another buggy in SA? Let me know down in the comments below. Suzuki unveils details of the fourth generation Swift, set to succeed the current model launched in SA in 2018. The Swift concept initially shown at the Tokyo Motor Show closely resembles the production model. The upcoming Swift promises a high-efficiency engine, advanced safety tech, including collision mitigation braking, adaptive high beam, and a driver monitoring system. Suzuki is also venturing into hybrid powertrains, with the new Swift likely to feature a 1.2-litre three-cylinder engine with a mild hybrid system. Suzuki UK mentions the Swift with All Grip Auto, a four-wheel drive system, arriving in spring 2024. The new Swift is anticipated to reach South African showrooms by mid-2024, maintaining its value proposition for Suzuki enthusiasts in South Africa. Again, let's wait and see when this model drops and make sure to subscribe to be the first to know about more details about this model. Finally, Ford reveals details on the new Ranger Tremor. I said that they are affording my additions up and that they're continuing with the bad weather deal. On the last gen, we will call it Tanda, Storm track in America, there's an F-150 Lightning, which we should expect like a Ranger earthquake, a Ranger tsunami, maybe a Ranger tornado. I, and give me a but let me not give them any ideas. Anyway, it's set for 2024 local launch and positioned as a more affordable alternative to the Wild Track X. While the price is yet to be confirmed, speculation suggests it may start near the 1 million rand mark. The Tremor boasts enhanced off-road capabilities including a full-time four-wheel drive system, the trailer turn assist and pro trailer backup assist. It shares the 2-litre bi-turbo diesel engine with the XLT, delivering 154 kilowatts and 500 newton meters through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Unique features include a black honeycomb grille, bolder grey exterior detailing, general Graber 83 tires and trimmer badges. The interior features water-resistant black vinyl trim, embroidered trimmer logos, and upgraded technology like a 12-inch touchscreen and wireless connectivity. Pricing details are yet to be announced, so make sure you subscribe to find out when that information becomes available. While you do that, let me know in the comments below. Let's afford with the special editions or releasing 
initial models then after they've released other models do you think it's working for them or by the is cars uh, let me know what you think in the comments below we have reached our destination for today let's take this ride again next time if you like what you saw please like the video share it to the friends and subscribe and